Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking. And today we're going to talk about my pregnancy. We're going to do a second trimester update. So I've really only done, I think, one pregnancy update so far. <laughs> uh, I did one in my first trimester. I think that I was like 14 or 15 weeks. I am... 26 weeks now so I only have two weeks left until I start my third trimester so I figured I better get this done um see I watch all these pregnancy updates and these women are amazing they have like so much to say about their pregnancies and I'm just like drawing a blank here um I've gained seven pounds baby is not head down he, uh, he is legs and feet down. So that's actually, it's kind of interesting because Leo was head down the entire pregnancy until 38 weeks and he flipped. And then the doctor had to flip him around. Um, so it's interesting to feel all the kicks and stuff down low. Uh, and you may hear Leo running around in the background. I have a two-year-old, so... He makes a lot of noise and because he is not head down he's head up I'm feeling all of his little kicks and flips and punches I don't know all the movement is in the lower part of my belly and that's different because I've never had one that stayed the entire pregnancy that way which makes me wonder if I'm gonna have to have him flipped too I think they call it EVC or ECV um, you know, where they push on your belly with an ultrasound, like they have an ultrasound and they push your belly around and they try to get them to turn. Um, like I said, they did that with Leo <laughs> and it actually wasn't terrible. And the doctor said it was because I had a roomy uterus, which basically means I've had three previous pregnancies and my, my belly is all stretched out already. So there's not a whole lot to update on. He, um, I have to have an ultrasound redone because they didn't get all the pictures that they needed. Very healthy pregnancy so far. Very healthy baby. 26 weeks. So I have 14 weeks left. But I most likely will be induced a week early because I just, I have been induced a week early with every pregnancy that I've had. And they give me the option. And truthfully, by the time I am that far done, I'm usually so miserable that I accept. <laughs> Uh, which means this baby could be here in 13 weeks, which is not very long, considering we haven't done anything. We haven't done any prep yet. We have a car seat. We have a pack and play. We have um, a, a jumper, you know, you know what they're called, like a bouncer, no. It's a big round extra saucer. We have an extra saucer, we have a swing, we have a high chair, a stroller. We have all of the equipment. I need to buy diapers, wipes, and clothes. And that's really it. And I need to buy a rock and play because we lent ours to a friend and probably are not getting it back. So that's really all that's on my shopping list. So that's not too bad. Um, but I do you want to talk about his nursery, right? Everybody has a nursery for their baby or a place to put their baby. Well, we don't have, we have three kids already and we have a three bedroom house. And Chris and I actually took the smallest room in the house. It's a very small room. I'm sitting in here now. It's very blue. So it looks like a little boy's room. That's because it was. Um, we gave them our master bedroom. What we did was we had a massive bedroom. Like, three of these could fit in there and we put a wall down the center and we separated it into two rooms so that made our house go from a three bedroom or a two bedroom house to a three bedroom house so then we gave the oldest his own room because he will be 16 in June and I feel like a 16 year old just need they need their space and then the 12 year old and the two year old he's really kind of two and a half almost they share a room and that actually works out really well. I know they have a big age gap, but Zach is a very good big brother. He loves having his little brother in with him. So, so they share a room and then the baby will just sleep in here with us. Um, I'm going to do some changing. I'm going to paint the room, um, 
just do some small updates and then he's just gonna sleep in his um, pack and play probably or you know with me probably truthfully if I'm being honest because Leo slept with us until about a week ago so this baby will probably also sleep with us a lot of the time and uh, you know I know that there are a lot of conflicting views on that but you just have to do what's right for your family and that's what has been right for our family. As far as symptoms go, I am still severely anemic. That just is something that happens to me when I'm pregnant. I think I'm anemic anyway. And then when I become pregnant, it just the baby zaps my body even more. So I'm extremely anemic and the iron pills were making me sick. So I'm taking Flintstones gummies, or not gummies, Flintstones vitamins with iron. Um, they are the only things that don't make me sick. I do feel a lot better having started taking them. Um, I was very fatigued before, but I do feel like I have more energy now that I'm taking the vitamins. Um, we live in West Virginia, so the allergies are really bad right now, I, which I'm having trouble. I don't know if you can tell. Hopefully you can't, but I'm having a lot of allergy trouble, like congestion and just ugh. Uh, so the doctor has me taking Zyrtec. She also said that I could take Benadryl at night, but I haven't done that really. Like I said, I've gained seven pounds, which they say is not a lot. It feels like I've gained a lot more than that. Um, but I am not, I have been doing a lot of like negative talking to myself about that lately, about I'm getting so fat and, uh, I'm gaining so much weight and I'm huge and I'm going to get huge. And I think that that kind of has perpetuated that a little bit. I think that I, you know, because I told myself I was going to get huge, I am getting huge and I'm just, I'm trying to give myself some grace. I'm pregnant. I am pregnant with my fourth baby and... You know, I'm almost to my third trimester, so it's okay and acceptable that I have gained some weight. I'm supposed to gain weight, and it will come off. I have faith that it will come off because when I'm not pregnant, I'm pretty good at dieting and exercise. So where his placenta, or my placenta, is behind the baby, I've had three other pregnancies and I've never had that. They say it's actually like 50-50 that your placenta can be in front of your baby or it can be behind your baby. Well, I've never had it where the placenta is in the back. And so it is amazing like how much you can feel and see the movement um, on the outside of my belly. It's crazy. Like I, like I said, I have never had a baby where my placenta was in the back. So it feels completely different. Um, it's definitely a whole new feeling. As far as names go, we still are not 100%. Uh, it was very easy when I was pregnant with Leo. We had a name like, we had his name picked out before we were sure what his gender was. And this time we've known our gender from like 11 weeks and still don't have a name a few names that I like. So, uh, of course, if you have any boy name suggestions, leave them in the comments. We're still on the baby name hunt. We may have settled, and as soon as we are settled on a name, I will let you know. I just don't want to tell you that we've picked a name and then change it. So, I don't know. He may be here before we have a name picked out. We may, you know, Chris and I have even talked about that. Like, we may want to see our baby and then come up with a name. I don't know, we're, we're struggling. I really feel like I've been like nesting this entire pregnancy. Uh, I know they say that that's supposed to kick in towards the end, but I I have been super motivated lately within the past like six weeks, since, or really I would even say since I hit my second trimester, I've been super motivated to get stuff done around the house. I've been finishing up little projects um, and I just, I feel like I'm nesting and now I have like my mom used to always call it a wild hair. I have a wild hair up my butt that I want to paint this room. I am so sick of this blue color and I'm tired of looking at it. And so I've contemplated like going to the store right now and getting the paint and coming home and painting it. But I know I need to do, I have other things I have to do. So I can't do that today, even though I really want to. 
but I'm just nesting like crazy. Oh, I'm crocheting in a little baby blanket. Um, it actually is ending up being like massive. Like it probably, I don't know, it may fit like a twin size bed by the time I'm done. So Chris is like, well, you can give this one to Leo and then make another one for the new baby. I'm like, okay. Um, I may have to, I don't know, but if I had it up here, I would show it to you. It's just a blue baby blanket, uh, but it, it makes me feel like close to my baby to be making him a blanket. Other than that, really, if I'm being honest, I love being pregnant, but I'm already ready to have my baby in my arms. Um, Katie Satilli just had her baby, and he's a little boy, and he's gorgeous, and I'm ready. Like, <laughs> I still have 14 weeks to go, but I am ready to hold my baby. Um, obviously, I want him to stay safe in there until he's ready to come out. So, the reality is, is I just have to be patient. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my belly. pregnancy update. I will be back for a third trimester pregnancy update somewhere near the end of my pregnancy. I think that I'll try to get it done around 36 weeks. If you have any questions for me in the meantime, you can leave them in the comments down below or you can find me on Instagram. My username is Heather Homemaker and I'll have that linked on the screen and in the description and all the different places and be sure to subscribe so that you can stay up to date on my pregnancy and follow me on Instagram because I update there a lot more often and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.